Ladies and gentlemen, my spooky October fundraiser is scaring me. Boo. All right, here's what's happening. I am obsessed with the idea of a hurricane or just an overall weird and wild weather situation happening on Earth starting about the 9th and then lasting for like four or five days. And then you got another one around the 17th to the 23rd. So that's what we're watching for. And this has been like my idea that we could see some crazy scenarios happening during that time frame. I've been talking about all year. And I do this every once in a while. And sometimes I totally fail and nothing happens on a hurricane. But it doesn't look like this year there's any way I'm going to rack up a failure. Even though I nailed the one like a month ago or whatever. Was it talking about? I don't know. It is your late night. Weekend. Look at the Eris Pluto. Oh my God, 2021 just keeps getting crazier. We have reason to believe that 2021 will keep getting crazier, but I still believe that civilization will continue to stand and we will keep it together, though several times throughout the rest of the year. I'm sure it'll look like the world is ending or feeling like the world is ending. What am I talking about? Oh, yeah, and I could be wrong. The world could end like any second or civilization could just collapse. And in that moment, you could be like, Thor, you were wrong. I'm like, no. Well, yeah, I was wrong, and then I bailed because as your planetary defense commander, two of the things we do here at Asteroid Fight Club is A, try to prevent World War III, B, keep civilization from collapsing. All right, we are watching, and if you'll notice, it's the latest GFS run. And so we've got a super gap. So we're getting the quadruple lows, the quadruple monster lows happening over the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic. And you got Wild Sam going up into the northest regions of our earthage. So check that out, man. That is that's a lot of lows, bro. And one's would be a hurricane. Technically, a couple of them could be. I don't know these tropical storms or North subtropical storms, whatever you call shit these days. Uh, what was that talking about? Oh, yeah. Keeping civilization standing. And it's so crazy that we've uh, made it a year and a half through the plague. I, I, as a teenager, I used to read the Nostradamus quatrains and his letters. And the, the history on him and he lived through the plague of 1666 and a lot of his family died in it but he survived i was always like wow that would be so wild to live through a plague and now here we all asteroid fight club lived through a plague together so far so life is weird man are, are you watching this as i'm talking about stuff because look yeah this time period and the time period being October looks was given all signs across the board. Like, holy crap, what is this monster boss fight we're going to be fighting in October? In about nine days, right on the day I've been talking about the fifth Pluto Square Eris. And so we know the week after that's going to be wild. And then you get the actual Eris and Earth opposition on the 17th. And so the five, you know, it's going to be a lot of discord and disharmony in the air and hey have i showed you the planets the planets were all stacked up like pringles in a can man that is so wild and even if no major weather comes out of this for you know like mexico the caribbean the united states of america canada iceland europe asia then these are really pretty pictures to look at like i don't know if i've ever seen it drop so many wild storms and look at the size of that rain band man i'm the rain man of rain bands and these are definitely some of the record winning weirdest craziest looking rain bands i've ever seen look at that crazy yeah i mean so you got the atlantic and the pacific spitting out like four lows on like an orbit 
Like, these are all floating lows. But the fact that on both sides of the planet, it shows a bunch of lows at one time forming like they are in an orbit in a line like planets stacked in a Pringles can or whatever metaphor you would like to use on this fantastic evening. Oh, I got nine minutes left and Friday. Oh, yeah, hey, did I mention I got a fundraiser going on now? Yeah, I do a fundraiser every month. Keep the warnings up and running. Turns my life into like a game show. And so I've only got $1,581 left to raise of my 1777 goal. I got to say thank you very, very, very much to Dawn, Max, KJ, Alexis, Ann, Arnica, Glenda, Barbara, Lauren, Brian, Marlita, Dan, and Light Soul. And everybody in Astro Fight Club. Yeah, dude. A August and September totally wiped me out as your blind terror defense commander. They were just kind of rough and kind of brutal on a level of like, you know, we got our ass kicked as a collective in a lot of ways. And so, I know the first day of October has been weird for me. And then, like, my fundraiser is doing about as slow as it's ever done in years that I can remember. And I'm like, well, times are tough all over. So, will Thor News survive? I don't know. I hope so. But that is how dangerous, spooky, and weird this world is right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit is just going nuts. And so I'm hanging in. That's what I do. I hang in there. And I'm hoping it, we're going to be making it to better days. But I've calculated that, like, yeah, shit's going to be wild and crazy in the spring. And then in February, we get Earth's Pluto birthday year. Rome had a couple of Pluto birthday years, like three or four. So the idea of us making it through one is not, you know, I think we're going to make it. And hopefully we're going to prove everything. We're looking at the sun here. They got a disc that occults it, so you can see the light around it. And this is the what we lovingly called the cat hair doom that more and more looks like a little spaceship. Or just something. Anyway, I suppose it's a hair in the lens. But yeah, you can see the sun has been very active over the last month. And so, that's good. Because Superman's powers run on sunlight. I'm going to say something controversial. Jimmy Carter was the cool president. This is Chuck Yeager. That's Ronald Reagan. A, he was a submarine commander, I think. Um, or just even being a submarine guy in the Navy in like the 40s and 50s. That's pretty cool. And then at one point, they had a nuclear toxic spill. And his team had to go and clean it up. And he survived that. I don't know. He seemed on the, like, more liberal side, white, Christian, male. He was a good guy. He is a good guy. Anyway, that is my opinion. Those are my two cents. And that I don't like presidents. They're like, yeah, he's likable. No, he wasn't perfect. Apparently he had a brother that liked jelly beans. Or was it him? His brother liked beer. He liked jelly beans. And he had inflation problems. <laughs> you know? And then with energy crisis problems. Or whatever. Hey, bro, the truth community is always giving the basic military such a bad rap. When, like, today, the I think the UK military had to bring in fuel. Like, the supply chain issues are so crazy right now. Happy birthday, 80th to the 25th Infantry Division. You know. Yeah, Army guys are cool. Army keeps it together. And the whole thing, like, everybody's always arguing with everybody as individuals here in America. And in this giant post-atomic digital age, you really kind of got to get China and America and Russia to work together. Like, uh, you know, like that's to really get in on, over any major hurdles. You have to have the countries working together. China sent 38 warplanes into the skies around Taiwan on Friday. The highest number of Chinese military aircraft to breach the island's ADIZ in a single day since Taipei began publicly reporting such activities last year, Taiwan's defense ministry said. Did you ever play Dungeons and Dragons or World of Warcraft? I just gotta say, I love being a healing paladin in spooky season. I don't want to trigger everybody, but Happy birthday, NASA. I've been wearing the same NASA shirt for a week. True story. 
I should take it off and take a shower. Yeah, and NASA's is like Hogwarts. Yo, dude, new sunspot numbers are out, and Solar Cycle 25 is freaking crushing it. Here were the NASA and NOAA estimates in red on what the the solar cycle would do, and these are what the sunspot numbers. This will put us like we we are going way ahead of what a lot of people have predicted, which is good news. I like to have fun. How did I ever beca- end up becoming planetary defense commander? Well, I still like to have fun, and I, I highly recommend having a sense of humor through whatever comes your way, and sometimes it'll save your ass. You can make angry people laugh. All right. But yeah, Eris is weird. Pluto's weird. And the last year and a half of Eris and Pluto, um, being the head of Hogwarts, hasn't really been that great, in my opinion. Oh, yeah, we're just letting the frames roll out on the GFS, this model run, the 00Z for October 2nd. Because this hurricane's about... A week away for formation, and then where it goes after that, nobody knows. But this is suggesting it may just go west into Mexico or South Texas or Texas or up through. Yeah, we've seen a version of that in Houston. Although that storm was not bad, it was actually nice where I was. But yeah, so, and then, but watch what is happening, this whole thing. We've seen some model runs where it wrote, Richard is back, and then it turned into the big one with all that shit. Yeah, this is nuts. Yeah, so, 15, like, six days after the Pluto Square Eris point, this is what your oceans will look like. And this looks like a pretty decent storm, but look at this crazy-looking thing. And that crazy-looking thing. Oh, wowzers. And then look at the Azores hide down here. What are you doing? And somebody might be like, hey, are you drunk? No, I'm not. I haven't drank it all in days. I had two beers left from band practice the other night, like a week ago. And was it yesterday? I was like, man, I think I would drink that. But they have been sitting out. So I put them in the freezer, and then they froze and broke. I was like, crap. I definitely intended not to break my beers. And freezing them. Anyway. Yeah, so we got a lot to watch for crazy days indeed, my friends. I think the fundraiser is stressing me out. But I knew that it would. I knew it would. Jupiter and Saturn retrograde about to go direct. That this week leading up with all the with all the Pluto and Air shit, like this could be the toughest two weeks of Thor news is whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm just talking to myself. And whatever, I thought Jack and Hagar would have such a cooler backstory or be more interesting. And anyway. See so ya. Yeah, man. Crazy days ahead. Kalan Patel. The Caribbean next week is interesting as there is a potential dash, albeit still low at the moment, of trouble. With low MSLPs and ULAC set up over very warm SSTs, conditions are conducive. So far, there is little support, but it's non-zero with a few GEF, SECEF members developing it. But who knows, maybe the storms will be nothing burger. So, it's imperative that I be entertaining now, I guess. Hey, did you see the video of the army vet who trapped an alligator in a trash can? His inner Steve Irwin kicked in. It was pretty cool. He was pretty army calm, cool, and collected. And the alligator did not get hurt. And Valkyrie was like, curb stomp me with your thighs, bro. And I was like, what? A while ago, someone mentioned something to me about, you know, my shadow ban and me being stuck at 55,000 subscribers for years. And they were like, yeah, you'll probably never get your 100,000 subscriber plaque. And I never thought, never thought about that. Like, oh, yeah, I have all the shit that, oh, I'm never going to fucking plaque. Yeah. I could live without the plaque. Rounds of heavy rainfall continue to, from the Gulf Coast region far north in the central states. But what if people were like, hey, the War News has done a really good job for the last eight or nine years. That would be cool. 
But who knows? Maybe the world's going to end soon, so we don't have to worry about it. Um, stunning extra tropical cyclone spinning away in the Gulf of Alaska. Smoke them if you got them. And I've been talking about, kind of lost my mind when the oceans caught on fire. And I was like, this is all too crazy. And then now the, with the volcanoes into extra mode. And that's my thing. Yeah, like one team is like Grand Solar Minimum Mini Ice Age. And then you got the other team that's like carbon tax will save us. I'm like, well, I know I definitely don't agree with you 100% with either one of your teams. And so neither one seems to protect and, and take care of the people when dealing with earthquakes and volcanoes. I think we all know that if you put your mind to it, you could probably predict them a little better and you could probably power things from the sun. What's it talking about? Oh, yeah. Sailing, sailing way to where we're going. Yeah, I don't know what the plan is, man. For the future, 2021 seems like a hang on and wait until things smooth out. And hopefully that'll be spring of 2022. It's batting down the fucking hatches. Double electric strawberry. Talladega Nights. Fireworks, anyways. Hey, yeah, did you know Door News Meat survives and thrives off your monthly contributions no nations if you think i've done a great job or want to contribute so i can continue to do a good job uh you can make a donation through my mailbox paypal venmo cash app patron or just prayers good thoughts yeah um so now's definitely time to be playing defense hey would you like to see some a rubian land falling spoot brought to us by Reed Timmer through Nick Barbieri and me videotaping the him videotaping being videotaped with the dust devil and the thingy. Is that meta? Probably not. But yeah, the heat does seem to be beating the cold if they were duking it out in the game of fire and ice. But yeah, carbon tax, that's not gonna fucking fix shit. Man. <laughs> But shout out to all the ladies and women who watch my channel. Sometimes, you know, do a long one just so maybe you can fall asleep listening to me try and be funny about all the doomy shit that's happening all around us. You know, and overall, we have not handled the plague that well as an American family. You know, I don't think any of us has given any of us an A+. Plus. Well, there's always room for improvement. So let's start now. Or, you know, do your best. And snow. There you go. Living mi vida. Oh, man, I just forgot that. Ecuadorian word for snow. Um, helado. No, that's nice. Quite the amplified pattern over NA2D the week of October. Fall on hold in the east with strong upper ridge. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we live in crazy times, it is true. I even, I was lazy on that one, so you didn't even get to see the best part. Sorry. I reversed it for you, or rewinded it, and there you go. This is Papa Catepal in Mexico. What I'm doing here is I'm just chit-chatting with you until the, all the frames come out. There's only three more to go. But yeah, so the volcano's happening down here. Yeah, that would be a big rainy storm for Europe with another one headed in. Are you having a good evening? Okay, great. Oh, yeah. That's the one up in there that just seems wild. And that leads into that thingy. And then the next, look at that one. <laughs> Oh, that's crazy, dude. Yeah, it's very laid back, chill. Hey, we're just hanging out. 
though during the hangout every once in a while i go hey would you like to make a donation and contribution to thor news's monthly fundraiser i would greatly appreciate it and i promise to work my butt off for y'all all of october and it's gonna be wild bubble bubble toil and trouble for sure definitely for sure look at that this is just like a whole field of rain yeah buddy and that's like category five category four two category fours we only got one more frame to go and then this wild weather hangout with me is done but it definitely is painting up some interesting things Yeah, I can't ever remember a time where I've seen a giant storm be this low, this deep in, and be this large, because usually the Azores high is stretched out. So I'm just saying that. It's kind of weird. All right, last frame is in. Here we go. There you go. There's the last frame. And But let us check again. The whole Azores high is just acting weird overall. Whatever's happening here is just seems strange. Lightning. All right. Stay cool. And... Thank y'all, Astro Fight Club. You guys are incredible. Talk to y'all soon.